Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. A little bit of a different backdrop here, kind of messy, I apologize for that, but I'm actually uh, sitting at someone's house uh, taking care of their animals. They've actually got a little hobby farm here, so I've got some sheep and goats and ducks and geese and uh, chickens and cats and all kinds of stuff to take care of. So I'm here filming my What's Sold video, and hey, I'm just I'm just sitting here someone else's house ignore their stuff and um yeah let's get to it <clears throat> we had a really good week of sales in the week of august 13th to 19th so this was our top week so far we um just last week had done 1062 and this week was 1080 and some change um yeah so the <clears throat> the um, the margin was not quite as high, so the income after fees and shipping and stuff was actually uh, about nineteen dollars less than last week, but the sales value was one thousand eighty dollars seventy four cents or seventy two cents rather, and that was with forty eight sales, uh, forty eight items at least. I think there were some some sales that had more than one item on them, but. So a 49.8% margin, so that's a weekly profit, net profit after everything, cost of goods, everything else, of $538.14. So I'm going to go ahead and just start listing it off. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as I can. <clears throat> um, and yeah, get through this. All right, so first up, we've got this Adidas Boston Marathon 2016 hoodie. And I picked this up for $6.90, sold it for $23, plus the buyer paid shipping, $14.97. They, it actually cost me $15.41, so I had to pay an extra uh, $0.50 cents or so. My net profit on that item was $10.44. Now we've got this vintage Tonka playset. So this is a vintage 70s playset of like a fire engine. I paid $2 for this and I sold it for $35. I could have gotten more for it, but it was actually missing the truck itself and one of the signs for the roof. Uh, so $35 and the buyer paid uh, 22 shipping and that's what it cost. So my net profit on that was $24.61. This TI-83 graphing calculator. TI-84s are much more valuable. TI-83 definitely still sells okay. I paid five for it. I sold it for 20 plus shipping, and uh, my net on that was 13.23. This lot of three Harley T-shirts. Um, these only cost me two dollars and fifty cents a piece at Salvation Army, so I took offers and did like a bundle deal. Somebody wanted all three, so my cost of goods was 7.50, and I sold it for 30 dollars. Sold these Harley Davidson jeans in a size 40. Buy cost of $7.19, sold them for $20 um, on Poshmark, a net profit of $8.81. That's not bad. And same goes for these Carhartt beige uh, loose cargo uh, in a size 40. This was actually the same buyer. <clears throat> Bought these same price, $20 and $8.81 net. Uh, and then, so this buyer just wasn't bundling. I tried to like help them bundle things and, you know, save them some money, but no, they weren't doing it. They were buying everything separate. So whatever. They also bought these Carhartt, uh, cargo pants, another different style one here, uh, 40, 34. They offered 15. I took it. I mean, honestly, on those ones, I only made like four bucks. doesn't matter. They were bundling things up and same as these Mavi Zach jeans. Only made like four dollars on those, but the buyer p bought all four of those things, and my net include you know on all four things was twenty five dollars. So I'm not going to complain about that. All right, now we've got this. Uh, this is another bundle. This is going. Uh, this went out to a uh, a viewer and supporter of the channel. So thank you uh, to to this person. I won't mention your name just in case, but. <clears throat> This was a Torrid Super Soft striped shirt and a Torrid Pink Dotted shirt. My buy cost on those was eleven twenty two. Sold for thirty five dollars in a bundle with some discounted shipping. So um, 
my net was 1182. So basically I doubled up on that and I was happy to do so. I obviously could have sold them for a little bit more, but that's okay. I, I, w I love actually um, making it so that, you know, people who watch the channel, support the channel, comment, things like that. I mean, hey, if you're gonna buy something from me, let's let's each you know get a little piece of this you know i'll i'll make a few dollars and you'll get something for cheaper than uh, you would otherwise so that works out for me all right sold this vineyard vines men's linen shirt paid 604 sold it for 23 on poshmark and my net was 1236 i sold this ll bean men's wool coat <clears throat> actually i think this was all part of a bundle it was this went with the uh, linen shirt so that went for, I'm just saying, $23 as well, because it was three things for $69. Um, so not as much profit on that, because I do pay a little bit more for jackets. So $862 net on that one. And uh, the last item in this bundle was this Untuck It Merino Wool kind of Henley shirt. I only paid $374 for that and sold for that $23 mark, so $14.66. So $69 for those three items, and my net profit was $35.64. I sold this Vans women's red plaid shirt, paid six oh four, sold for twenty three on uh, Poshmark. So yeah, twelve thirty six net. Exact same. Uh, oh yes, this was another bundle. This this was weird. <clears throat> so this was a bundle of four items, and it worked out that the average item uh, sale price was twenty three dollars as well. Because when I, I remember when I was filling out my sheet here, I was like, wait. Am I like screwing something up? But yeah, there were seven items in a row that all sold for $23 even because the bundle pricing just worked out the same way. So yeah, we had that man shirt. We've got this Maeve striped shirt. We've got this marmot down puffer jacket. And I could have gotten more for this, but it had like a, a dark kind of spot on it. And I just didn't want to like, I didn't want to wash it. I just didn't want to wash like down and stuff and maybe like screw something up. So that's fine. And then this L.L. Bean uh, wool plaid pea coat. So not huge profit on a couple of those things, but overall my buy cost was $29.62 and my net profit was $43.98. So <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty good. All right, so these Lululemon men's shorts in a size 36, paid $6.33, sold for $27. That's a net of fifteen twenty-seven. This new with tags All Saints Merino wool sweater paid six ninety, sold it for forty dollars plus shipping. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so it was nineteen ninety-nine. The buyer paid shipping. It cost me nineteen eighty-three, so within sixteen cents. So my net profit on that was twenty-three ninety-three. This Toy Story four shirt. Uh, this one, I don't even remember where it came from. I, I feel like it was actually just a free inventory item, but I honestly have no idea where it came from. Uh, but I've had it for the, almost a year and a half now. So I put it in as a zero buy cost because honestly, I have no clue. I sold it for $7.50, free shipping in Canada, letter mail shipping. I made $1.87. If it was a zero buy cost, I honestly have no idea. It's New York Mets Windbreaker, paid six ninety for this, sold it for forty dollars plus. The buyer paid fifteen eleven shipping. It cost me fifteen forty one to ship it, so very close. And my net on that was twenty four eighty six. Now we've got this Knox Rose tie dye tank. Would have paid five eighteen for that. Sold it for twenty plus shipping. Um, yeah, and so net profit of ten fifty. This Nirvana Smiley Tea, this was a $2 pickup at a yard sale one time, I believe. And uh, it was a size small, so I should have known better. Anyway, it has been around for a long time. Paid $2, sold it for $10. And I'm offering free shipping uh, for letter mail on that. And so my net was $2.07. This uh, Carhartt Women's Long Sleeve Tea I, I don't know. I just felt like <clears throat> I wanted to see this go. It had had some watchers and stuff, but just no one was biting. So when I got an offer, I just took it. Um, it cost me five eighteen. I sold it for eleven plus shipping. My net profit was uh, four dollars and sixteen cents. 
This one was a little bit better, sold within a couple days. This J. Jill denim chambray peasant style shirt, paid six oh four, <clears throat> sold for my asking price of twenty six sixty three, plus shipping, which worked out to be exactly what I paid, or within thirty cents. So my net profit on that was fifteen ninety four. These Eastern Mountain Sports convertible size thirty pants that zip into shorts, paid seven nineteen. Sold for 21 on Poshmark. That is a net of 961. This uh, Harley shirt, this was a great find. I found two of them just like this. I think I had sold one the week before. Paid 604, sold for 30 on Poshmark. So that is a 1796 uh, net. And so I sold both of those within about a week of listing them. So that was great. Uh, these Eileen Fisher blue pants in a size 16. These were a $7.19 buy cost, sold for $39 over on Poshmark, with some discounted shipping, so a $20 five cent net. This J. Jill Love Linen green tiered sleeve uh, top, this sold within about an hour of listing. I paid $6.04 for it, and it sold for $24.63 plus shipping, and my net was $14.42. This new with tags Red Sox hat, I paid a dollar and it sold for 10. And um, I actually, let's see here. No, I did not do the uh, upgraded expedited light label on that. So I just sent that one letter mail. So my profit was 455. This men's North Face fleece zip jacket, a lightweight jacket, uh, paid seven seventy six, sold for thirty on Poshmark. That's a net of sixteen twenty four. This Reebok Brady jersey was twenty five dollars sell, uh, so five eighteen buy cost, sold for twenty five. And uh, this was actually shipping within Canada letter mail, so I just offered free shipping. My net on that ended up being ten twenty eight. So Band Hero for the Xbox 360. This came out of my own personal collection, so zero dollar cost of goods. And uh, $13.99 it sold for. I was offering free shipping, so after taxes and fees and all the rest, profit on that was $7.90. This North Face Rivington jacket, this one had like the hood and like the built-in mask, like uh, almost like a balaclava mask for, you know, skiing, snowboarding, whatever. Although that, this jacket wasn't really kind of built for that, like it wasn't your standard like outdoor snowboarding jacket or whatever, but uh, in any case, paid seven seventy six for it. It sold for fifty dollars, plus the buyer paid twenty five ninety eight in shipping. Um, it actually cost me twenty eight thirty six, so I was out about two fifty extra on the shipping on that one, but I still net profited twenty eight seventy six. These Hoka One One Carbon X shoes, these are ones that I paid $5 for after redeeming a $10 uh, coupon that I had at a consignment shop where um, every so many purchases you get a $10 voucher. So they cost me $5. I sold them for $25 plus shipping. My net on those were, it was just $12.84, but it was just some kind of quick cash flow because I knew they would move pretty quickly. It's Miami Marlins hat. Um, this was a dollar buy cost, sold for $14.99. Buyer paid $2.99 shipping, but I did actually upgrade that one to a uh, expedited light uh, package through eBay. That's the only way you can get it. It's purchasing that label if it's under 200 grams uh, within Canada, because uh, otherwise there is no cheap tracked option in Canada. So they just negotiated that new item, uh, that new option for, you know, kind of lighter items it's called for collectibles but it doesn't matter what category it is um and the reason i did that is because this hat had a very rigid brim and um the front so you know if i really flattened it down to make it fit letter mail which can only be like two centimeters that's fine but it would probably pop up and just be a very like large looking package so it could get rejected down the road for being too uh, too big and get sent back to me so i just Pitched in the extra a few dollars. I still made a net profit of $5.21 on a hat. I'm happy with that. This uh, J. Jill silk trimmed blouse paid $6.04, sold for $20 on 
uh, eBay with free letter mail shipping. My net profit on that was $6.58, so more than a double up. This Wii Sports Resort for uh, Wii, of course, this actually came as part of a Wii lot that I got for $20. I had sold, um, and I'll talk about it in this, uh, in this video, I had sold the game for $20 immediately to a friend, so I got all my money back, so all of the rest of this is all net profit. So I put this in as a $0 buy cost, sold for $29.99. I did offer free shipping uh, letter mail in Canada, so my net was twenty sixty one. Sold these Dolce and Gabbana Capris. These were a seven nineteen buy cost. They've been around for a while, but they did sell for fifty dollars plus shipping. And uh, my net was thirty two fifteen on those. Now this is a bundle of two items. We've got some J Jill blue jeans and a ten petite. So. Uh, two-piece bundle for $30. The other item was this uh, Eddie Bauer slightly curvy boot cut in a 12 petite. So buy cost for the two pairs of pants was $14.38. Sold them for $30. Uh, so after fees, my net... That doesn't seem right. I think I got some bad math here saying that my net was only... Uh, about $6. I'll, uh, I'll come back to that if I remember. I think I see what I did wrong. Yeah, I put in the fees twice. So it would have been about $11, um, $11 net on that. So not quite a double up, but that's okay. All right, these Sorel Men's uh, Size 7 winter boots, so a smaller size, paid $5 for these. I sold them for $35 on Poshmark, and that's a net of $23 even. This uh, Tupac New York United Club shirt. This was some kind of a NY United Club exclusive shirt. I don't know. I picked this up for 518 a very long time ago now and thought that it would surely sell. No, it just sat for a very long time. So I kept lowering the price, lowering the price, lowering the price. I finally got a $15 offer on Poshmark. So I took it. I still net 587 on that, so it was more than a double up. It just took a really long time to earn that money. All right, now we've got these Athleta Rainier Reflective Tights. Buy cost 719, sold for 22, and my net of 645. Not quite a double up because I did offer um, the discounted shipping in my offer on Poshmark as well. Uh, these J. Jill navy blue stretch pants in a size 18. These were a 719 buy cost once again. Uh, $19 sale price after fees and everything. I did only make about $4 on those, but that's all right. J. Jill is one of those bread and butter brands. I know that almost everything I list is going to sell and earn me money. So the last item on this week was Kirby's Epic Yarn for Wii. And again, this was the game that sold immediately to a friend of mine. We had actually been talking about this uh, before I even went to buy this Wii Bundle. Uh, he wasn't able to get to it, and uh, I was close by, so I went and snagged it and then sold him the game for 20 bucks. So that's all net. And now the rest of the Wii Bundle, which is a console, a few more games, and some other stuff, I've lotted up into a big bundle and have it listed currently for 170 on eBay and 150 on Facebook Marketplace. So, yeah, it could be it could be a really nice flip on a $20 uh, buy cost all altogether. All right, well that was it. So yeah, once again, $1,082 or sorry, $1,080 72 cents, a 49.8% margin, 48 items sold. And a weekly net profit of 538.14. This week is on pace. I'm filming this about halfway through the next week, and we are over halfway where we need to be to be on pace. So, uh, another great week. It seems like things are continuing to, to move along nicely. So, all right. Thanks very much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.